Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Bobby W two two three here, and uh, this is just my late predictions for the um, Goku versus Superman fight that Death Battle is doing. As most of you guys know, that the battle was supposed to be up on uh, the twenty first, but they delayed it by a few days. I'm not sure exactly what day it's supposed to be out, but I guess they were having trouble with some of the different um, animations and things like that. But I guess they're pretty much done. <clears throat> but they just want to touch up the animations. So uh, anyway, um, let me just get this. Let me just get this out of the way. I want Goku to win. I'm rooting for Goku. I do want him to win, but the more I think about it, the more I realize he's not going to win. And it's not going to be necessarily because, oh, Super Superman is just so much stronger, so much faster, even though that could be the case as well. <clears throat> I think what's going to happen is the fact that since, you know, Goku doesn't know anything about Superman and vice versa, Superman doesn't know anything about Goku, but, um... Basically, the, the the sun, the sun. Since Goku doesn't realize that the sun, you know, uh, uh, basically powers up Superman. If you look at a lot of the times, a lot of the battles in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, whatever, you know, GT, um, with Goku or different characters, um, I'll, I'll keep it on Goku. Uh, if you look at a lot of the times where it's like a last resort attack from Goku, like if he's run, running low on energy and he's really hurt, he's you know, feeling like he's about to about to die. Usually, there's there's normally two kind of last resort attacks that he does. One being the spirit bomb, and two being blasting is um, him blasting his opponent into the sun. Now, let me touch on the spirit bomb real quick. The spirit bomb is completely irrelevant in my opinion in this fight for two reasons. One, it takes way too long to power up, especially for somebody like Superman. The amount of energy that Goku would need to hurt him with the Spirit Bomb, it would just take too long. And I think Goku knows that. Like He, he knows Superman is strong. He knows it would take a lot of energy to gather to, uh, to, you know, to hurt him or to kill him, you know, or whatever with it. Um... And Superman is, is, is not just going to sit there, you know what I mean? And Goku doesn't have anybody to help him out. He doesn't have Vegeta or anybody to help him out to kind of keep Superman to keep Superman back. That's one. Two, even if he did have enough time to power up enough energy to kill uh, Superman, uh, you know, as far as, you know, power-wise, the spirit bomb couldn't hurt him because uh, his spirit, you know, su Superman's spirit or whatever you want to say is good. It isn't, it isn't bad. He doesn't have an evil spirit. The spirit bomb only hurts people that are evil, you know, the bad guys, the villains that they fight. Um, it doesn't work on good guys. <clears throat> and Superman is, you know, a, a pure-hearted character just like Goku. So that wouldn't work. And once again, I believe Goku knows this, even though they're making Goku out to be a blithering idiot, just going off of the preview, which I do understand that Goku is pretty dumb when it comes to everything but fighting. Now, when it comes to fighting, in my opinion, Goku's a genius. He's been fighting since he's a little kid, been getting trained by people all over the galaxy, all over the universe, whatever. But um, I guess the the guy who does Goku for the Dragon Ball um, on bridge or whatever on a YouTube channel Team Four Star, go check that out if you haven't. I guess the guy who does the voice voice of Goku on that um, is doing the voice on here, which is cool. But at the same time, you know that show is a parody of Dragon Ball Z. It's supposed to be there to make fun of Dragon Ball Z, and it's very funny. Whereas this should be a little more serious. Like the voice actor that they have for Superman actually fits him and actually makes sense. Whereas the the um, guy for for Goku, they're making him seem seem to be just playing out stupid for when it comes to fighting and everything. Like I said, when it comes to fighting, Goku is very smart. And I, I believe Goku would realize that the, that the spirit bomb wouldn't work. Now, as far as the sun goes, there's no way of Goku knowing, in my opinion, that the sun actually helps Superman out because it's worked, you know, throughout his, his entire life as a last resort attack to blast his opponent into the sun. You see what I'm saying? So I think it might come down to the wire where both of them are, you know, just going, you know, punch for punch, Kamea, Mea wave for, you know, heat, you know, heat beam, just, just going back and forth, you know, uh, clothes rip, bleeding, all this stuff, just going back and forth, and Goku might get to that point where he's like, look, I'm going to take the remainder of my energy, I'm going to blast Superman into the sun to take him out, because this has worked time and time again. And if he does that, 
he's basically going to seal his fate. It'll basically basically be his fault that he that he loses if he does do that because he just does, he flat out doesn't know. So if he does do that and he and he literally knocks Superman into the sun, I believe that's going to give Superman enough energy and enough power to take out Goku because Goku will then be most likely in a vulnerable state. He maybe will even transform back into a regular, you know, black-haired Saiyan while Superman is literally flying back from the sun back to Earth, gaining all that momentum and speed and power and he could, you know, basically put all that into one punch and just punch Goku in the head and kill him. So really it's not going to come down to who's stronger or who's faster because really in my opinion they're both about even when it comes to combat, intelligence, speed, strength. Over, overall I say that they're about even. I will give the edge to Goku a little bit as far as uh, combat training goes but overall they're probably going to be about even. I'm assuming that Goku will go to Super Saiyan 3. We saw in the preview he went to Super Saiyan 2. I'm assuming he'll go to Super Saiyan 3, but not 4, just for the fact that he doesn't have his tail. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, if Goku goes Super Saiyan 4, it's a wrap for Superman, which I could definitely agree with that, but I don't think he'll be able to go Super Saiyan 4 because he doesn't have his tail. And speaking of his tail, uh, that's pretty much um, um, Saiyan's only real weakness, at least I can think of off the top of my head, is when you grab a, a Saiyan's tail, they they get all weak and kind of like woozy and stuff like that. It's pretty much the equivalent to Kryptonite for Saiyans is, is grabbing their tail. But the funny thing is, when Goku was a kid and he did have his tail, he was actually training and learning how to, to cope with when people grab his tail, and he actually was learning how to uh, have that not affect him. But it doesn't really matter because this Goku, I'm, I'm assuming, is, is based off of dra the Dragon Ball Z Goku. I don't know if they're going to really use anything from GT or not. If they do, it would be probably Super Saiyan 4 because there's not really anything else in GT that I could think of that they would really need to use. But... Um, yeah, he doesn't have his tail. You know, what I mean, a lot of the saying, actually, all all the sayings, uh, uh, yeah, all all the all the sayings eventually, you know, cut their tails off or whatever. But anyway, just keeping it, just keeping it on Goku. Yeah, he doesn't have his tail in this fight. So how the hell is he, is he, is he supposed to? you know, go Super Saiyan 4. The only reason he was able to do that, you know, period in the show is because he accidentally got wished back to a kid by one of the villains from Dragon Ball. He he said, I wish you were a little kid again, like I remember you, and then I would really, you know, I'd, I'd beat the shit out, you know, whatever. I forget word for word what he said, but basically he, 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 he said, he wished him back to a kid, and once again, back then, Goku had his tail. You know, Vegeta had his tail till he was an adult and then it again cut off. But Goku, I guess, got rid of his when he was like a teenager or something <clears throat> in Dragon Ball. But uh, yeah, he doesn't have his tail. So how in the hell is he supposed to go Super Saiyan 4? So I believe he'll go Super Saiyan 3, <clears throat> which is enough to go toe to toe with, with Superman. But he's going to have, I believe, still a pretty tough time taking him out, which makes me feel that he's going to go into that last resort mode and try to blast Superman into the sun. And then he's basically going to fuck himself over and Superman's going to get all, you know, sun powered up. And he's going to fly back to Earth and he's going to kill Goku. You know, otherwise, if Goku for some reason decides not to, to blast him into the sun, then the fight could go either way, in my, in my opinion. He does have that power pole staff. So that is magic. You know, that is magic. So that definitely could help Goku out. As you saw in the preview when he was using the, the power pole, it was hurting Superman because it's magic. But besides that, you know, he got rid of the kryptonite. He spared him with the kryptonite. Goku blasted the kryptonite away. So it, what else does he have? You know, the only weakness that Goku has in his arsenal to go... Well, the only thing that Goku has that is a weakness of Superman that I could think of is his magic power pole. You know, and Goku really doesn't have any weaknesses, but, you know, with the power of the sun, that could be enough to, to power up Superman enough to take out a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Once again, I want Goku to win, but it's not looking too good for him. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what advantages and disadvantages that you guys think each character has and who you think is going to win. Bobby W two two three.